Hi, I'm Bruce Mackey from Mackey Insurance. Mackey Insurance has been a proud member of the Bay of Quinney community for the past 45 years, delivering quality and effective insurance products. We've also been a proud sponsor of the Balbo Senators since their inaugural season in 2017. We are proud to sponsor the development of professional hockey in our region. I'm Bruce Mackey, and this is Road to the AHL. For Sokolov, over the line with a drop pass to Bernard Docker, scores! Jacob Bernard Docker coming in on the right wing, finds the far side of the net, and he has got his first professional hockey goal. Backhanded to the point, penalty coming up to the rocket, Bernard Docker scores! And it's taken by Peter Tishke. It's Dale, Illinois native. Can't get it out. Shot scores! What a start for young JBD on the blue line. I got into hockey probably when I was around four years old, and um, you know, my mom put me in it. Um, and obviously, ever since I've loved it. And um, obviously, my, both, both, both my parents did a great job, uh, you know, helped me growing up. And um, my dad always built us a backyard rink, so I think that's kind of where I really got the passion from. I wouldn't say I really had um, any outside role models. I think just my family, my parents, just what they did for me growing up. And, um, you know, every year it kind of seemed like we were driving farther and farther for, you know, the teams that I had to play on and after minor hockey. So uh, they spent a lot of time in the car and always having food ready for me in the car. And, um, you know, I still remember all those trips, doing all my homework in the car. And the biggest thing for me growing up was just enjoying it with Bud and always loving the game and um, yeah I'd say that was definitely always the goal in the back of my mind I guess it I didn't realize it would maybe be a reality until um, until I guess I committed to North Dakota and I was like you know maybe I could make something out of this and pretty lucky it uh, kind of came to fruition uh, you know play hockey for a living now. Yeah, for me, like the NCAA, I think just offered a little bit longer time to maybe develop and, um, you know, a little less games and a little more time in the gym to, uh, you know, physically prepare, I guess. Um, obviously, both routes work out for a lot of guys, but North Dakota was just, you know, when I went on that visit, um, I think I just had a kind of a connection with the coaching staff. Um, you know, they really uh, made me feel at home there. and. Um, I thought that would kind of just be the best place for me to, you know, to get the development that I needed. And, um, you know, I took a visit at a few other schools, but that was the one that, uh, you know, I ended up choosing and, uh, you know, pretty fortunate I, I went there. I think one of the biggest things you remember is probably not even hockey, just hanging out with the guys, uh, going to class. Um, just the college lifestyle, I think, really helped me grow up quick and obviously living with all your parents and, um, you know, eating dorm food, being in those bunk beds freshman year is uh, definitely a really cool experience for me. I still remember the morning of, I actually had to take a, a diploma, which is a provincial exam in Alberta, and had to drive out and do that in the morning. And um, all I could think about the whole time was the draft that was happening that night. And um, yeah, me and my family were all there and um, didn't really expect uh, anything much. I think uh, it was just there for the experience, most of all, and was, uh, you know, just really hoping to get picked at some point. And, um, you know, when Ottawa took me, it was a pretty surreal moment. My sister was actually, um, at pick, I think 24, she, she went to get a pretzel um, from the concession and made it back at 25 and I ended up going 26, so she almost missed it, so, um, you know, that's how much we thought that, that I was going to go that high, so, um, obviously a, a life-changing experience. And I think after it happened, you, you obviously try to enjoy it, um, you know, there's a lot of people that have helped me to that point in my life. and. Um, yeah, I think you know once you once you get over that that initial joy, but I think it's yeah, it's right back to work. Uh, at the end of the day, it, it really doesn't mean anything. It's something at a, a point in my life where you know where I'm at, but um, you know it really doesn't determine any future success. So uh, for me, it was yeah, just trying to to crack the organization after that. Where's it go? This will be the first time around for Bernard Dawson. 
Docker in this league. Actually, a good start to that for Bernard Docker. He got a couple of shots in early against the KG veteran Konechny. Konechny looking to spark his team as well, never one to back down, but I'm thinking that's the first time around for Bernard Docker. Jacob Bernard Docker didn't back down. Yeah, it was, it was probably a bigger transition, honestly, than I thought it would have been. Um, when I came out of college there, it was that COVID year. Um, so I had to do that week at the hotel uh, after I signed, uh, me and Shane Pinto. And then uh, I kind of came in and started skating with the team. And um, yeah, I think I played five games at the end there. And I think that just helped me a lot to kind of realize like where I need to take my game and um, you know how good the NHL really was. Um, you know, even for me, like in college, like watching on TV, it's like, you know, the players are good, but it, it didn't really do justice until you're on the ice with them and um, really makes you realize that how strong they are and, uh, you know, good at protecting pucks and all that, all the little stuff. So it was uh, really helpful to kind of get those games in. Yeah, I mean, I, my future goal is obviously to be a full-time NHLer. Um, you know, it's obviously I want that to happen as soon as possible, but I realize there's a you know a process and, and stuff behind it, and um, you know I want to be fully ready when I do when I do that make that jump. And um, yeah, I think the plan is just to just to try and be consistent, um, just keep doing what I'm doing and work on details in my game that I need to improve at the next level and um, you know success is something obviously that you gotta you gotta try to produce long term and um, it's tough and I think every night you just gotta do your best to show up and you know there's games within that that long schedule that you're not gonna have it a few nights um, and you just gotta find a way to try and make a difference and I think you know that's my mentality when I feel like I don't have my legs or my hands aren't going or whatever, it's just to maybe simplify, um, do something positive and, and try to gain momentum out of it that way. And uh, it's tough because uh, in college, you know, you're, I got used to feeling pretty good every Friday, Saturday, I had the whole week to recover. And um, here, obviously, it's not the case. Some, some games, you got to battle through that and um, kind of lean on your teammates. And, uh, you know, someone's got to try to get the team going. Uh, here's a one-timer, and that was blocked by Jacob Bernard Docker. Kids turning into a shot blocking machine. How about another shot block from JBD? Puck stays in and a shot on off the post. Work to the near side boards from the radio view. Far side on the TV side. How about a third shot block from Jacob Bernard Docker? Yeah, I guess the, the advice that I'd give to someone wanting to make a, a jump to any level is just, um, you know, putting in the work and, um, you know, no matter the ice time you're getting or where you are in the lineup, just come in on a day-to-day -day basis with a great attitude and um, just do your best. I think that's that's really all you can do at the end of the day. And there's so many uncontrollable factors um, in hockey, and I think the best thing to do is kind of just look inside and make sure that you're doing everything to prepare to the best of your ability.